Good morning, world. How are we this morning? I'm just checking and everything is working. Yay! So, sorry about last week. Last week was weird in the extreme. I mean, truly weird. Um, you may or may not know this, but... Uh, so on Saturday, last la not the one we just had, the one before, two weeks ago, two weekends ago, we had a village safari supper, uh, which is where you walk around the village going to different people's houses for your starter and your main course. And then we all collected back at a marquee for dessert and drinks and chat. Um, and you all go to different places. There are lots of hosts, etc., etc. So... That was fine. Um, hello, Nora. So I dressed up a bit. Didn't need to, looking at what everybody else was wearing. But anyway, I dressed up a bit, put heels on, wedge heels, let it be said. Um, and a couple of times during the evening, I cricked my ankle. Hello, Sherry. Uh, and it was fine. I just kind of went, ow, and walked on. No problems. We then drove down from Oxfordshire to London, which is about an hour, hour and ten, depending on traffic, for an early supper on Sunday afternoon, evening. About seven o'clock, my ankle, my left ankle, started feeling really odd. By nine o'clock, I was saying to my husband that we really needed to go now because I had an early start. Hello, Karen, because uh, I had an early start in the morning. No, no, I had an excruciatingly painful ankle. Um, I was the designated driver, so that was fun. Fortunately, electric cars are automatic and it was my left foot, so it was fine. Apart from the fact I was in excruciating pain. Um, still not happy the following morning, went to minor injuries. They said it's not broken. It's either a sprain or um, possibly gout. Wonderful. Hello, Shaz. Hello, Karen. Um, so I've seen the GP. Uh, I saw the GP on Tuesday morning, which was why I couldn't be here because my appointment was 11 o'clock. Um, anywho, strong painkillers and a week later, it feels fine. I'm being slightly careful. Um, I'm going to have a blood test in five weeks to check to see if it was gout. Um, the fact that it got better relatively quickly for a sprain worries me a little. Um that it may be gout. Um, anyway, we will see what happens in five or six weeks' time when they do the blood test. They can't do the blood test until, if it is gout, the crystals have to break down and go into your bloodstream. Otherwise, if they did a test when you're in pain, it would come up negative. Hello, Jane from Georgia. So yes, so it's been a funny old week, um, but at the weekend I had the joy of my team uh, virtual retreat, which Nora was at. Hello, Marlene from Wisconsin. I'm a lot better now than I was, thank you. And hello, Mary, who is in the Netherlands. So yes, we had our virtual retreat on Sunday, which was a blast. I had some really, really kind feedback from the team, um, but it was great fun. It's always a little, I'm always a little concerned because some of the team are really, really, really talented and I just kind of busk it. Um, so I was having to do projects for some really, really, really good crafters and also some people who were quite new to crafting. So I was trying to do that, get that balance between things that would challenge but not be too overwhelming. And I have to say, they all did really good jobs. And as I say, the messages that I've had since then are amazing. They've had me in tears, let it be said. Coffee. Mm. So today we are going to be playing with rocking horses. Haven't used this, so this is going to be fun. Um, but it is lovely and I kind of wanted to use it. And I'm using it with what might be seen as a slightly odd set of papers. Um, the reason for that is because quite a lot of the papers are not in stock in Europe at the moment. Uh, let me, well, first things first, actually, let me do that. So... We heard this morning that if you want to join uh, Stamping Up, because it's our 35th anniversary, from the 3rd of October, please note the 3rd of October until the 31st, we're having a joining special, which is a double. 
joining special. So you get two options. You can either have 35% off the price of the starter kit. So you'd still get your £130, £175 Euros and whatever in other parts of the world. Um, but instead of paying £99, sorry, I'm just checking that I'm up to date with comments. I am. So instead of paying spending 99 pounds or 129 euros it would be just 64.35 or 83.85 which is mega or if you like the 99 pounds and 129 euros you can have 35 pounds more product which means that you would get 175 pounds 50 or 236.25 euros plus whichever kit you get you get free entry worth 82 euros or 72 um 72 pounds and uh for a free entry for backstage uh not backstage on stage in november which is at home you don't have to travel um so yes <sighs> there we go so um that's that joining offer third to 31st of october sorry my brain is somewhere else i just had a message from my upline who's just back from holiday and was thanking me for a gift i sent her um after our my uplines team meeting anywho let me flip the camera down and i'm going to turn that light on now where is that coming from Oh, it's coming from behind me, so we're going to have to live with it. So, rocking horse. We've got have a rocking Christmas, merry Christmas, sending Christmas joy to every girl and every boy. Let's embrace, you know, stuff. Wishing you an old-fashioned Christmas from our family to yours. We've got little blobs. We've got holly, either as a straight line or as a cluster. Parcels, trumpet, bow, drums. But in the dies, because it's a bundle... We have dies for everything, but we also have a little, what looks like a little face, but I'm sure isn't, um, but this, uh, we have a teddy bear, we have a, an embossed bow, we've got A, B, C blocks, building blocks, we've got holly berries, we've got ho holly leaves, must work out what that is, what's that? I'd look in the catalogue, but I haven't got it. I mean, I have got it. It's just not here. And I don't know what that's for either. So we're going to find out. Hello, Inika. Hello, Jan. Indeed. Absolutely. Jan lives in Florida. So there's time differences and work and all sorts of things. Anyway, I thought we'd have a play and I'm pairing it sort of not surprisingly ish with the um, one horse open sleigh. As I say, a lot of the papers. Oh, thank you. Pretty color on my nails. It's um, nails ink. I always wear nails ink. This is um, um, a an eco one and it's called eco ego. Can't remember what that's called, but thank you. Um, I did them only recently. So I'm using One Horse Open Sleigh because I know it's available, uh, whereas most of the others aren't. But I'm going to be using the B-sides more than the A-sides because there are some lovely, lovely B-sides. Oh, Ah, so Inika, have you had a parcel from me? I say parcel, an envelope from me. Is that what you're referring to? Because I gave... In the... Um, in the mini catalogue, there's the abundant, abundant beauty decorative masks, which have got sunflowers in. So I bought them each a pack of that. And Inika, because Inika lives in the Netherlands, it takes her hers hers take a little longer to arrive. So I'm wondering if they have just arrived, but. I have to say I love hanging out with my team and the fact that we can do it virtually is just wonderful. So this is a half open pack. I just thought I would start with this. Um, I'm going to be using that side. I'm going to look at the fronts as well because some of the fronts work 
for the rocking horse too, I think. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, that one might. That one might if I take the fox off, which is the best bit. Ah, oh, you have received it. Good. I'm so pleased. Um, it just felt right somehow that we had that. Um, that we all had it. Because, yeah. Hello, Brenton. Sorry, I wasn't ignoring you. I was just... God, I'm hot. It's one of those really weird autumn days. It started off really cool. And now it so isn't. Um, right, so the colours in the paper are... Uh, basic Black Boho Blue, Cajun Craze, Crumb Cake, Early Espresso, Lemon Lolly, Lost Lagoon, Misty Moonlight, Mossy Meadow, Old Olive, Pebble Path, Pecan Pie, Petal Pink, Pool Party, Real Red, Wild Wheat. Otherwise known as pretty much all of them. Oh, thank you, Nora. It was, it was a blast. It really was a blast. There were, I think, 10 of, you, 10 of the team signed up, which was brilliant. Uh, one one lady did say she couldn't actually make it on the day because she was going fossil hunting with her husband or rather her husband was going fossil hunting with her um, but she wanted the kit and to do all the projects oh and I should say um, I am aware that the on live videos the sound is off sync I know I can't work out how to change it because when I do recorded videos it's fine it's something to do with going live and I don't know it, I've got to play with the latency, but that's, you know, over my head somewhere. Coffee. I'm so distracted this morning. So, yes, I um, it's, a, it's one of those weird autumn days, as I say. It's cold in the morning, and now I'm really quite warm. Um, we're supposed to have 22 degrees today, which is just ridiculous. Anywho, uh, I'm going to start with a basic white card base. I have nothing ready, just for a change. Um, I even have very little basic white out, so that could be fun. Uh, we will be doing some that aren't basic white. Um, I had to drop my husband off at the, um, at the station because he's meeting a friend in London. So I'm going to score this at ten and a half centimetres and then cut it in half-ish. At about 14.9-ish. Um, so that's card base. I'm going to cut this down to uh, three and three quarters by five and a half. But yes, so we have people from Ireland, uh, Nora, um, Germany, and all over the UK, which was just amazing. Oh, it is in sync now. Oh, that's interesting. So maybe it's only when it goes to repeat. Oh, that is odd. Okay. Very odd. I don't get it because it's normally my recorded ones that go, or my lives that go off, but they go off. The comments I've had have been after the live. So maybe it's something to do with that. I am so not techy. Anyway, so I am going to bring in, hmm, I think Misty Moonlight. Wrong draw. Misty Moonlight is still in my brain as a um, an in colour, but of course it's not now. It's a core colour. So I'm going to cut this to three and seven eighths by five and five eighths. There's a surprise. I will be using some ribbon, just don't know which one yet. Possibly the Misty Moonlight one, but I don't know. Um, I need some basic white smooth. This is basic white smooth. I have not used these, so they're going to need prepping. Twenty-four degrees days is down in Oz. Lovely. Except we're having twenty-two in the UK, which is just ridiculous. Hello, Annette from Denmark. I'm just prepping the stamp by rubbing it to give it a key. Uh, memento. Says so yes, we had one, my newest team member. 
um, was with us, who is doing amazingly well. Bless her, she hasn't currently got a cut and emboss. She's got a die cutter, but not a cut and emboss. And I stupidly didn't realise that she didn't. Um, so the, the designs needed a full size cut and emboss. Um, so I had to redesign some of them on the fly. Oh, it's 24 degrees with you as well, Inika. It's very odd, isn't it? Yeah, we're slightly cooler. Um, but hello, Leslie. No, it was last week, Leslie, that there was no live. I'm back. I'm back. My f ankle is more or less fine. So, yes. Right. OK, so for me... Rocking horses aren't garish colours, just saying. But I am going to get some wood colour, probably crumb cake, um, and stuff. So bear with. So, crumb cake is that one. Ooh, I might go there as well. And misty moonlight is... No, that's boho blue. Oh, I could use boho blue though, couldn't I? and real red. I have no idea what I'm doing, just for a change. Oh, colour lifter, colour lifter's there, that's fine. Oh, I need a silver, as in a grey. So let's go, no, I didn't want that one, I wanted, oh, well, let's bring both of them. So I've got grey granite and smoky slate. So this is just gonna be a bit random. Um, so I've got, some of the naturals, so I've got 600 and 500. Um, we are going to die cut this. In fact, I might die cut it first. Yeah, that's a good color. And uh, so that's 500 and that's 600. Yeah, I like those. And this is dark crumb cake. Yep, we'll get wood somehow. So I'm gonna die cut. And it should go through my baby, my little baby. Oh, and, 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 anyone who was waiting for the reissued Hanukkah set, it is now available. Um, in the UK, it's £24. They've actually added extra uh, stamps. It's beautiful. Um, I will be ordering it very soon. Um, because I would like to play with it. I can't remember though when Hanukkah is this year because it's it's a moving feast. Um, so yeah, I need to get a wiggle on with that. Let me just let me just check when Hanukkah is. Oh, I'll tell you about the cruise. This was the short one, right? Oh, Brenton's cruise. Yes, 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 yes. Your cruise sounded amazing. Uh, what was I looking for? When is Hanukkah? That's what I'm looking for. So. Uh, 7th to the 15th of December. So we don't have long. Just saying. So. Right, okay, so, and I might save myself a little bit of colouring by also die cutting the rocker, because there's a die for the rocker. 78 degrees Fahrenheit with Jan, but it will get up into the 90s later and then it will become Horrible. Oh, it will come, it will end horribly. Oh, Brenton, that sounds amazing. So I'm going to die cut the rocker just so I know how much slash little I need to colour. Get the die back on the sheet. Always interesting. I'm going to stick with what I would call natural colours. You could obviously make it gold or whatever. Um, 
but I'm going to stick with, I think I'll stick with crumb cake. Um, or should I go pecan pie? I might go pecan pie, actually. Yeah, I think I will go pecan pie. Right, it's got a piece made for it just there, hasn't it? So we'll chop that. And pop that through. Thirty-five degrees Celsius. That's what it was like when I was in Vegas. I have to say it was dry heat, which I'm not too bad at. Marlene's off to work. We'll catch the rest on replay. Have a great day. Absolutely. And you, Marlene. Thank you for joining. And I will see you on the replay. So I want to see if this will show up on camera because it's really pretty. Come on, out you go. That's, that's meant to, no, that's embossed. Right, some of it's embossed and some of it's not. Some of it's embossed and some of it's die cut, is what I really meant to say. So let me see if I can remember where the zoom area is. Zoom. Oh, there's a thing. Right, so can you? Eh, not really. No, maybe a little. It is... The focusing's not great, sorry. Um, but it is embossed as well as not. Oh, I want to be where you are, Brenton. 24, 26 degrees for the next seven days. I mean, we are supposed to have be having a, a an Indian summer, so a late summer. Let's face it, we didn't get an early one. Um, right, so that goes over there, and very cleverly, it doesn't interfere with any of the stamped bit. But I am going to colour underneath so that we can see the underneath. And I think I'm going to go for, was it this one, 600? Yes. So I'm going to colour this rocking area with 600 just so that when the um, die cut areas show through there is something that isn't just plain white so it's going to cover all of this area or I could use the brush end but you know that would be too clever but I thought this was really a really really cute set and doesn't have to be just for Christmas because I think a rock of a rocking horse is a nursery thing and they've got a teddy bear and stuff. So I am going to have to die cut that and find out what on earth it's for. Um, there is this weird die cut that I just cannot work. Oh, it's the it's for the saddle. It's that bit. OK, I get it now. I get it. So I could die cut that as well. Let's do that. That will cut down even more on the colouring. Oh, dear, dear, dear. It's the saddle, folks. Oh, don't talk about hot summers, Leslie. We've had an appalling summer. It was a weird summer here. It was lovely in June and then went downhill. And it's been quite nice for most of September. July and August? Rubbish. I mean, the, the plus side is that we have um, planted up flower tubs outside the village hall. And my hubby and I both put our names down to help water the plants that were in them over the summer. And um, <laughs> we both ended up with a really wet week. So we didn't have to water. Brilliant. Right, so this, it's the saddle. So that goes there. So again, I need to do some colouring and I'm gonna stick with what I've got, which is this, which is SU500. So I only actually need to colour that bit. And then I can 
do all the other colouring knowing where I'm going. Do I need to do the hooves? I need to do the... Yes, I need to do his rear hooves. So I'll probably do all of his hooves. So I will do other bits first. So I'm going to go... I think I'm going to go crumb cake for the horse. So it's going to be a bay. Humpback whale. Oh, carving as well. Oh, lovely. Right. So which way am I going to do this? I'm going to go dark, then light. So I'm going to put my shading in first and I'm going to add colour with um, the bridle and stuff. So we'll do shading first. Uh, normally end up with a slightly pink nose, so we'll come back to that. Uh, that's bridle, that's bridle, these are legs. Right, so let's go underneath. Might have to grab pecan pie just to do some of the stirrups and stuff. Not the stirrups, but the the bits for the stirrups, the straps. I used to know these things. I used to ride. I used to be really quite good. I mean, not brilliant, brilliant, but I was more than adequate. Right, I'm going to go dark crumb cake for the hooves, just so that they're done. So has anyone else got this set? Or is it just me that's going down memory lane with... rocking horses. My, was it my aunt? I think it was my aunt had a rocking horse. Um, and there was also a rocking horse. Now don't get this, take this the wrong way, because it so isn't. Um, there is this theory, and I'm, so I'm going to explain it and then you'll realise why I'm saying don't take this the wrong way. There is this theory that Harrods in London is the most expensive shop in the country. It's not. Um, it's it's only got top end brands, so it's not cheap, but it's not the most expensive shop in the country. And my mother used to take my brother and I to Harrods to have our hair cut. Let it be said our school uniforms came from Harrods, not that we tended to get new school uniforms. We tended to get them through the clothing clothing exchange, so not so much second hand as about 15th hand. Um, but we would go up to Harrods not infrequently. And I was I would always have my hair cut there, my brother would have his hair cut there. This was until we were about seven, I suppose. Or certainly when not till I was about seven. Um, and they also they used to cut my hair really beautifully. Um, my hair is not easy to cut, particularly then. It had a very, very prominent wave. Um, anyway, so we used to go up there. The point of this story is they had a rocking horse in the children's hairdressing area. And it was great. So we could play on the rocking horse while we were waiting for our sibling to have their hair done. Um, but it's one of my fondest memories childhood memories of time spent with my mother um, just happy times really so Leslie used to ride as a teenager yes I, I used to ride as a teenager get worried about fires yes I think Canada is having a or has had an appalling time British Columbia in particular has had appalling fires Right, so the tail, which I have already added some dark crumb cake to. So as I say, this is a bay, if I've remembered that correctly from my riding days. I would spend my summer holidays, um, our parents used to take us down to the New Forest quite regularly. My brother would go sailing and I would go riding. So they'd dump us, sorry, drop us off at the beginning of the day. Hello, Laurie. Um, and we would spend the day doing things that we really enjoyed doing, which was lovely. So I'm going to use the other end, um, 600 on his mane, just to sort of have a bit of a difference without going mad. And I'm just going to do it in 600. I'm not going to shade it at all. And oh, I need to do his 
fringe. So yes, has anybody else got this? Oh, Sherry is a lovely memory to have. Um, I wish that I had a photo of us up there because it would just be lovely to scrapbook. You know, that thing I keep saying I'm going to do more of and don't. Um, I have actually got a scrapbooking weekend away with some friends soon. Not soon, it's the 11th and 12th of November. Tara has been on the fence about getting the set. Your dad made a rocking horse for my for your daughter. Oh, oh. Wonderful. Uh, you've clipped. Brenton has already booked another cruise. This time it's the South Pacific Islands. Nine days. <gasps> First holiday in 11 years. Oh, well, you, it, you did it in style, Brenton, which is really what you should do. Right. I'm going to add some colour with dark real red. So it's going to have a red bridle and reins. I'm leaving the circly bits for the moment. I just think it's such a lovely, lovely set. And as I say, I, I, it wasn't on my first order from the mini catalogue. It was a definite maybe. Um, and then I started thinking about rocking horses and I just had to get it because as I say it's memories of very early childhood and I have to say I have an appalling memory for these things so it is really quite nice that I've got some memory of these sorts of things because um, yeah my husband bless him he can remember everything almost down to which day of the week it was um, from years ago I'm hopeless. So this is light boho blue. Got an irritating gap just there, which I'm going to have to do something about. So quite a lot of the saddle cloth is going to be covered, but I'm still going to colour it just so that we've got colour the bit that isn't covered so does it cover yes right so there's a gap so let's fill in the gap and then we've got this stripe here now i never i'm never quite sure which way to go with this so when you're doing a teeny tiny area do you go for the bullet end or do you go for the brush tip end i tend to go for the bullet end but i have seen people doing the brush tip end and i can't decide Oh, Brenton, it would be perfect for a baby card for your niece. Oh, particularly with the teddy bear. I had a teddy bear that I loved. Um, my, It was a Heinz baby food teddy bear. My brother ate the food and I got the teddy bear. Um, and bless her, she got squished and squashed. It wasn't a particularly, you know... It was a very basic teddy bear, but she was lovely. And I used to lie on her in bed and, you know. Um, I think that's why I like lying on my pillow, is because it's like lying on my teddy bear. Um, and it was I, I, I used to alternate between calling her Mrs. Ted and Mr. Ted. I don't know why, but I did. Um, right, let's stick some bits on. I'm not going to go mad with the glue, because you only need to attach it. You don't need to... You know, it's not like you're hanging stuff from it off the ceiling. It's just to keep it on. So don't go mad. Just a little bit will do. And you don't want it squishing and going out the sides or into the die cut area. That is not an attractive look. I'll just do that bit at the top and that bit at the bottom. Ooh, that's going to squish. So let's spread it out. Gosh, I'm all shaky this morning. Leslie still has her teddy. I wish, Leslie, that I could remember everything that 
Martin remembers, or as much as Martin remembers, but I so can't. Um, I've just accepted that he's got a weird brain. Oh, I didn't need to put any glue there because it goes over the top. Right, so that's the rocking horse base. Now, of course, for a different look, you could stamp your rocking horse on coloured card, whatever colour you want your rocking horse, and then have these die cut pieces a different colour and just not colour the rocking horse. Um, although, as someone, I can't remember who it was, uh, reminded us recently, oh, it was Alicia down in New Zealand, um, you can use your watercolour pencils on coloured card. You had a doggy and still have it. My brother had a had a teddy bear, but his favourite thing was a little hedgehog, which he used to snuffle. Um, so he used to sort of have it under his nose and snuffle it. Strange boy. So there is our rocking horse. I'm not going to do amazing you know, more amazing things or any much. Words! What happened to words? You didn't have a teddy, but you had an elephant. Oh. So that's going to go there. I think we're going to have a piece of ribbon for it to sit on. And I am, ooh, I can't decide. Shall I go that way? Or shall I go that way? Because either would work. This technically is Knight of Navy, but actually, where well, this technically is Misty Moonlight, I think I prefer that one. Oh, I think I do. Does anyone disagree with me? I mean, we could use boho blue, but I think that would just be dull. Uh, I mean, I don't mean dull, dull. But, yeah. So I'm going to use this one, and I think I will have a bow. So, possibly this afternoon, may not be. because you're in you're in um, holiday mode Brent and that's why you're having issues with words um, what was I saying I have no idea anyway I was saying something and I cannot remember what I was saying now I'm having a bow I remember that bit I can't remember the rest dear lord I think mine's age don't need that go away thank you Oh, finally, no connection of ideas at all. Uh, but finally, I want it there. That's even. Um, I finally got to buy my husband a birthday present. Um, he's the most difficult person to buy for. Let it be said, his birthday is the 29th of April. So it's not like <laughs> it's not like it was yesterday. Um, I don't know how often I can use that now. I, it's a lovely, it's wonderful, isn't it, Laurie? Because it, it's not, it's not a flat colour. Um, my granddaughter has my son's teddy, takes it ever. Oh, bless! That is so lovely! So Inika says, I've used the right ribbon. Good, the Knight of Navy ribbon with the, you know, bunnies. Because, do you know what would be really good? If I had stuck my paper on first. So bear with me one moment while I just... Do that. Oh, for crying out loud, woman. There are really moments when I think I need to be shut away in a darkened room. Um, let me just attach the paper <laughs> to the card. Oh, for frigging sake, woman. Plug your blooming brain in. Oh, did anyone notice that I hadn't done that? Were you shouting at the screen going, glue the paper down, Liz? <sighs> right, shall I try that again? <sighs> I would still craft in my darkened room. You're probably right, Laurie, I probably would. Right, so that needs to go four down. That's about four down. Uh, not straight though. That's about right. 
That's better. Right, okay, we have a card base. We know this because I cut it. I can't remember where I put it, but we did cut it. Oh, for crying out loud. One day I'm going to surprise you all and do a video that is, you know, professional. <sighs> Leslie did wonder. Yeah, I wonder all the time. Okay, let's burnish that and pop that on there. We are going to use um, dimensionals. Words are definitely hard. Oh, <laughs> so my sister-in-law, who's coming to Cancun with me, Mexico, um, on the next incentive trip, only 1% of demonstrators, in fact, less than 1% of demonstrators earn the incentive trip, I have to say that, um, is getting so excited about it. She's so excited, which is lovely. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm very excited about it. Oh, thank you, Sherry. Jan is loving this set. Good. My work is done. So let me grab my baby dimensionals because this really needs baby dimensionals at the bottom. The only problem with baby dimensionals is I am not capable for some reason of pulling up more than one at a time. Big dimensionals, you know, standard size, I can have fistfuls in, the, in my hand. Baby ones, no. No, no, no. Right, I'm not going to go mad, it's card, but I am going to make sure that any delicate areas are protected. See, these I can do that with. Although that's probably all that's needed. I don't need three, I just need the two. Oh, I I have to say, I when people say what vid, what, <laughs> not to me, they don't, but when people ask a question, um, in you know various forum that I am in, on part of, not running by any manner or means, but you know a member of. Um, when they say what video editing software do you use for your videos, and I go none, cause life's too short. Oh, thank you, Karen. Well, I have my lovely customers and my lovely, lovely team to thank for that, because without them. I wouldn't be going. Um, I did, it was slightly over half, in fact it was about three quarters were sales and the rest were team promotions. So I'm going to pop this here, I'm going to have a bow here, which is why this is coming over here. I don't like central, central is kind of, mm. um, Side on sentiment. It's going to go up. No, it's going to go down there. I might just go. Are these full size? They are full size. Okay. I might go to every boy and every girl, or every girl and every boy, even. That. And I'm going to have something on the inside. So I think I'm going to have those. And. Merry Christmas. Now, here's a controversial question. Is it Merry or Happy Christmas? And this is particularly if you're in the UK, because a lot of people are under the impression that it's happy. Um, and a lot of people are under the impression that it's merry. I have my own opinion on this, but I would be fascinated to hear yours. Right, I'm going to go white, of course. Oh, no, I haven't thrown all my white away. There's white. Um, and I'm going to stick with black. But I am going to layer it onto a piece of boho, not boho, misty moonlight. I haven't forgotten I'm putting a bow on, and I may even... Um, Put an embellishment on. I know. Shaz is a merry. Leslie is a merry. Sherry is a merry. 
What is a good stamp set to buy for inside greetings and sayings? Um, any general stamp set, she says unhelpfully. Um, so, ooh, I know which one. Have I got it? throughout the year because it covers so many occasions so you've got thank you happy easter happy holidays cheers to you in the new year trick or treat best of luck you mean so much to me so that would be a very good general not just for the inside but for the outside merry christmas is a bit more american english i think happy christmas is more british okay interesting Merry Christmas, happy birthday is your personal choice, Joanne. Merry Christmas for Brenton. Now, my parents, who were wonderful, um, had... We used to do Merry, uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year because Merry does have a connotation that involves alcohol. So you can be very merry. Um, if you're, if you're slightly the worst for wear. Um, so they always used to say it needs to be Merry Christmas because you're allowed to drink at Christmas, but Happy New Year so that you weren't implying that someone was going to be drunk for the next 365 days, um, which I thought was an inter interesting way of putting it. Um, however, right. Let me see what I've got in the way of scraps. Oh, that will do. That will do. I loved that die. Just saying, that die was wonderful. Um, right. In US, merry and for a religious, a blessed. Okay. Yeah. I tend to shy away from two. I, it's a dreadful thing to say too much religion on my Christmas cards because whilst I do have a faith a lot of my friends don't or they have a different faith um, so I do tend to shy away from that but yes absolutely you were raised saying Merry American but I'm you worked in retail in the UK so I'm comfortable switching to happy OK, but yeah, no, we were Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Now, obviously, you could use your trimmer for this. I am not going to. Because I tend to find that, particularly for a short piece, I do a better job, not a perfect job, a better job cutting by hand. It's not too bad. Um, so that's going to go there on dimensionals. Then we're going to do the inside and then, good grief, it's taken 50 minutes to make one card. That is ridiculous. So I'm going to have to make a really, really quick card as a second card. And I do have an idea for that. Can you honestly believe it's been a whole 50 minutes of me blethering on? Right, I need my roll of ribbon, which is there. So I can do that. I say a bow, it's not, it's a knot. Happy seems to be the one for Norwich. Okay, some people are offended by Merry Christmas in the US. You're supposed to say Happy Holidays. Yeah, the problem with, I have a real problem with Happy Holidays, or Happy Holiday, because for me, a holiday is a vacation. Um, and I know technically holiday is the correct thing because it's a holy day, but nah, I, I cannot tell you how much I do not like happy holidays. Um, that's just me, my own personal opinion. Some people are offended, but I've done that. I ran into that as well. Barbara shakes her head sadly. <laughs> lovely so but yeah no I, I ha always have to remember when I'm speaking to an American about the fact I'm going on holiday meaning I'm going away to have a really nice time that 
Um, there are only certain people to whom I send religious themes cards. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, that's not sitting right. It'll be fine. Um, yeah. I, I have to remember when I'm saying I'm going on holiday. If I'm talking to an American, I have to say I'm going on vacation. I have just realised that I haven't rubbed that to get its finish off. Let's hope it's going to be OK. Oh, lucky. And then just this one. I don't like happy holiday and people are too easily offended. Oh, Barbara, absolutely. People are way too easily offended. Now, I am not going to colour my parcels because if I did, I would use watercolour pencils because if you colour on flat card it will with blends, it will bleed through. Right, so that's that, except I want some frou-frou. So let me just find some frou-frou. Nope, nope, no. Ooh, they may work. Why are they not in a packet? Um, why have I got three packets of those? Oh, and I've got an open, a small packet of that. Two packets of that. What is going on? I might actually use those because those are rather pretty. Don't need bats. Definitely don't need bats. Right, we'll use these pearls. I have a lot of Jewish friends who send me Christmas cards. Just say. <laughs> oh, Laurie, I love that. Going on a sleigh ride. Was Going on holiday was going on a sleigh with Father Christmas. Love that. Somewhere I have got a take your pick with the right end on it. And I have cleared up since the weekend. Oh, there it is. Since the weekend. I have no idea what colour these are and I really don't care. I'm going to use some of these because they kind of work. Actually, I'm going to use a small one there. So I am I have an issue with having anything too near to the back end of a horse. Just saying. And I'm still on my threes. Still loving my threes. Right, so I'm going to have, but I do like odd numbers, so I'm going to have just a single odd number down by every boy and every girl. Come on. So every boy and every girl is going to have one just there, just tucked in. So um, going in there. Going in there. Let's use this end. Yes. Right, so that's that. I am going to do one very, very quick card. She says, famous last words. Now, of course, if you did a baby card and it was for a girl, you could use the pink. Just saying, Brenton. So Sincere is a good set? Yes, absolutely. Have I got So Sincere? Apparently not. Right, so that's that one. Let's do something really quickly. Is that smooth? No, it's not that smooth, however. Ooh, except... No, no, I'm going smooth. I'm going in for a smooth card. Right, I'm going to cut it down quite a bit. I'm going to go... I'm going to go five... by... I've taken five-eighths off... by three and a quarter. And I'm going to grab my pack of paper, which I have now buried, and grab some bits. That's not going to be nope, big enough. That's fine. Mm. 
my niece had a girl. Oh, your niece had a girl. So there we are. Your niece had a girl. Perfect. <sighs> Brain dangerous. So yes, those little pink pearls would be perfect for your niece. For the child of your great niece. Oh, I think I am going to do that. Do you remember I got out that other one that I'm now not using? Okay, so I'm going to do some layering, obviously with the red and the blue, or the red sandwiching the blue. So I've done three and a quarter, so I'm going to go three and one eighth by, no, three and three eighths, three and three eighths, yes, by five and one eighth. So those are spare. Then I'm going to go three and a half. Ooh, which way am I going? I'm going to go that way. Three and a half by five and a quarter. So that's going to go on there. And then I'm going to go three and five eighths by five and three eighths. So I am doing red, blue, red, blue with white on the top. And then what I'm, so these are going to get layered. So let's layer those. Where's my glue? It's there. Oh, Ellie Maeve. Is that right, Maeve? So that goes there. I just thought I'd stick these down so that I knew I'd done it. I don't know why it should remind me, but it has, because, you know, brain weird. Um, moody Mauve or me, Moody Mau, m m m m m uh, how, do, how? Move? Move, it's move. And then this is going to go in there, like that, except straight. And I'm going to grab a piece of scrappity scrap. Good grief, the temperature! So a piece of scrap, and I'm going to grab real red and misty moonlight. Misty Moonlight Real Red. So that's going there. We are going to use Merry Christmas. And we are going to have, we're going to take these out of the box. That's what we're going to do. So that and that and that. These blocks are way too large, but you know, don't have every block in the world. Right, I'll leave that there. Oh, I've got a baby block there. So that can go on a baby block. I need to clean that stamp very quickly. And then we're gonna get rocking. 22nd of September sharing with your second eldest son. Wow. That'll be easy to remember. I'm going to clean that as well because I can't decide what colour I'm going to do that in. Let's dry it. So that's always a plan. Right. Okay. So we are not colouring anything. We're just going for it. <laughs> oh, Sherry, that's wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. Right, for those of you who are watching on repeat. 
Um, so Sherry has said, sorry to offend the Americans, but they pronounce mauve wrong. We Canadians pronounce it correctly as you pronounce it, Lid. <laughs> oh, that really has tickled me. Thank you so much. Um, right, I'm just going to do that because I forgot to prep it. So I am going to come in with these stamps. Remembering that we're going in for a vertical, <laughs> vertical snap. Oh, brilliant. Um, sorry. <laughs> You've made my day, Sherry. Um, <laughs> oh, dear. Right. Um, <clears throat> as I was saying, uh, we're going to come in and just build a background. <sighs> now I'm going to go up. Oh, that really has tickled me. But you're right. <laughs> the correct pronunciation is move, not mov, or whatever it is. Yeah, Laurie, Laurie pronounced it like me, and she's American. Um, just saying. And Brenton says the Aussies do as well. Brilliant. Oh, oh, I'm just. It's oh dear. Absolutely made my day. Um, I should probably have done the parcels first, but you know, why? Why, oh, why should I have done them first? There is no good reason. Oh, I might bring in Misty, no, not Misty anything. I might bring in Mossy Meadow. Right, we need something in there. So we're going to have the, we're going to have a red bow. So if you ever want just a quick card and you haven't got much in the way of paper, which at the moment in Europe is kind of where we are, um, always helps if you ink up the stamp correctly, of course. You can just build your own background. Is kind of where I'm going from. Now, you may be thinking you really haven't left any room there for anything else, Liz, but you know what? I have, because I've got my little babies. So let's have that one on there and that one on there and I am going to bring in Mossy Meadow which although I haven't used it on my colours, although I could, um, might add another layer. Um, it is one of the colours in the paper that we've got. So, so now we can just fill in any of those gaps and Remember to turn your stamps. Don't have everything going in the same direction because otherwise it looks too intentional. Mm -mm -mm. Let's have you up there. And going off the edge makes it look more intentional as well. So that's that one. Let's come in with this little teeny tiny stamp which is the smallest stamp in the world. This is the one you're going to, if you run classes in person, this is the one that's going to get lost. Just saying. I think we're about there. I think any more would be too fussy. <laughs> oh, Laurie, I like that. Removing all the vowels if you're Welsh. Um, I missed, I've missed, I've missed some stuff. So anyone here saying mauve, you're wrong. <laughs> How do you think us English feel we create a language and spell it and the Americans have leave letters out because they can't be bothered? Oh, I love that, Shaz. Oh. When I first heard American Dara say mauve, I couldn't figure out what they were talking about. <laughs> Nika, first I learned American English and in teacher's training we had to learn British English, not just pronunciation but also spelling. Tough. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's wonderful. I love it. Um, <laughs> oh, dear Lord. Right, okay. I think I have a card base. I do. I might bring in some Mossy Meadow ca uh, card, uh, paper, paper, 
That's the word I'm looking for. Paper. <sighs> because I've brought in Mossy Mauve, I think I, f I feel I ought to bring in some Mossy Mauve paper too. So let's see what we have in Mossy Mauve. Mossy Mauve, Mossy Meadow. <sighs> Seriously. That one. I'm not going to look at the front because if I look at the front, I'll go, no, I can't possibly cut that. So where were we? We were at something along the lines of three and five eighths. So we're going three and a quarter by five and a half. Three and three quarters rather by five and a half. Three and three quarters by five and a half. Oh dear, I haven't laughed so much in a long time. That was priceless. Oh, it's the one with the deer. That's all right. Right, so we now have Mossy Meadow as part of our setup. Oh, uh, Laurie, I think you may have borrowed that from Oscar Wilde. But yes, we are, or is it? Or was it someone else? Anyway, yes, two nations separated by a common language. Um, yes. Mauve. Mauve. Anyway, mauve. But then again, I'm sure we all get that lovely confusion of is it cough or co? Is it slough or slough? Um, as kids, we used to live quite near Slough, Slough, um, and if we were ever asked directions for am I anywhere near Slough, we had no idea what people were talking about. Right, okay, so I need something across the middle for the sentiment. I'm going to be using Merry Christmas. That looks made for the job. I am going to go Mossy Meadow simply because I... Can't find it. Simply, how can I have lost Mossy Meadow in 30 seconds? Oh, because I put it under the Mossy Meadow card. Eek. He is my favourite smart. Yes. Right, so Merry Christmas. Oh, should I flag it? Let's do it there and then I'll decide what I'm going to do with it. So Merry Christmas, almost straight, always a plan. Uh, we don't have a Mossy Meadow ribbon, but we do have a lot of real red. So I might go real red this time. So we've got the garden green and real red. And I'm thinking, I know this isn't stuck down, just saying. Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to do that. So let's cut that and then decide where I'm going from there. Let's attach, shall I? Shall I attach? Shall I not make the same mistake twice in one video? We're only 10 past 12. When we're only a little bit over where I would normally finish, it's fine. Now, obviously you could spend the time to color these in. You could stamp in black and then color. Um, Sometimes life is just a little too short. So, sadly, this paper is no longer available. It's the best thing I've ever seen. Um, but it's that whole Stamparatus debacle. And by debacle, I mean, really, is it really that close to being a misty? So that's that, almost straight. No, it is straight. Okay, that's fine. Um, so let's do a bit of that. I'm just encasing that ribbon in seal plus, or apparently not, that's better. Then glue, there we are. Ooh, sun is shining on the righteous or at least on the back of the righteous. 
And then when I've done this, I can go and have my lunch. Because it will be about lunchtime. It's always a good place to stop and re reevaluate the day. Right, so that's that. Where did I put my there it is? So that is going there. Oh, actually, I'm going to cut that when I get there. So that's going there. A couple of or three dimensionals. Putting them in the right place would be a plan, really, wouldn't it? Let's pop that there. <sighs> I forgot that was the end I'm cutting off. And I'm wanting real red, I think, as a an embellishment. Or I could go gold, I suppose. I know what I'm looking for. I know what I'm looking for. I may not be able to find them. Oh, I could use those. No. 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 Why can I not find what I'm looking for? Thank you, Inika. I will say, when you have no um, DSP available, it makes you think outside, that's what I'm looking for, think outside the box a bit, because we don't have a lot of DSP, Christmas DSP available at the moment. But I have had a thought about an advent calendar, which I'm going to share quite soon, but I need some more bits. Um, because advent calendars are always quite popular, certainly in the UK, um, and they can be quite expensive for not very much. Right, I'm going to go. I'm going to go silver because I don't want this to be too intrusive. It's going to be intrusive, but not too intrusive. Oops. Shall I go there? I love these. Can I just say what they're called? They are called. No, they're not called rocking horse dies. They're called adhesive backed sparkle gems. They're basically called exactly what they are. They are adhesive backed sparkle gems. Now oh, I'm going to stick that over the trumpet because that's where I want it. But they are amazing. They are just the right amount of bling without going completely mad. There's quite a lot of just the right amount of bling, but not going completely mad in this year's mini. So that is where we're stopping. So we've got just a little bit of sparkle. So there we go. We have an absolute classic rocking horse and then something a bit different with the same stamp set, just as an idea of what to do when you're in a rush or haven't got it. I think Stamping Up was unprepared for the popularity of the day. Absolutely. We've been sold out of the autumn paper twice. We are sold out of the autumn paper now. It's not due back in until the 30th of October. Happily, my class this month is with the autumn paper. Happily, I did a punt and ordered more than I needed and I have sold every single seat in the class um, so quickly. I mean, amazing. It's such beautiful paper and we're not getting it back until October the 30th. Uh, thank you, Sherry. Thank you, Leslie. Thank you, Shaz. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Laurie. Inika is rethinking the rocking horse set. Well, I did say it's a beautiful set. I mean, we should finish, but um, as a bundle, if you want a really quick birth card, just take the teddy bear, die cut it in the appropriate colour. So I would say balmy blue, 
bubble bath, lemon lolly or soft sea foam, depending on, you know, or just crumb cake. And you could do the ABC and you've got a baby card. You, mm. um, so, yes, don't just, <laughs> this is not just for Christmas, it's for everything. Um, so, yes, that's just my thoughts on it. Um, and I think I might actually make and put on my website a baby card using this set, but just using the dies because I think it just needs that extra bit of love. But anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. I've had an absolute blast. Um, cute invitation for a baby shower. Absolutely. So don't, as I say, don't just think Christmas. Think outside the box a bit. And of course, if you've got someone who's a trumpet player, you've got a trumpet. Um, and the presents can obviously be birthday as well. So, oh, indeed, if you've got a drummer. One of my team, her granddaughter is a drummer. For, she's actually a drummer for a number of bands. And, ooh, now, who is it? Kirsty and the Embers. They are featuring on one of the BBC, I think it's BBC Midlands or BBC Manchester. They're featuring on this week. She's one proud grandmother. Um, so let me flip the camera back up and say goodbye properly. If I can get my mouse to move, I've got blocks everywhere. Come on, mouse. I want there. Hello, it's me. I do actually have a bigger face than the little one in the top right hand corner. Anyway, um, thank you very much for joining me today. I, as I say, I've had such a blast. It, <laughs> it's just been such fun. So thank you very much indeed. I will see you again next week and I may even do a proper simple stamping Saturday. You never know. Um, anyway, thank you very much indeed. I will see you again very soon. Bye for now.